a Colombian woman who was set to become the country's first person to die by legal euthanasia without an immediate terminal prognosis had the procedure cancelled days before it was scheduled to occur, a human rights group said. Martha Sepulveda, 51, who has amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, was scheduled to die by euthanasia Sunday but received a letter late Friday that the procedure would not be allowed to go forward. The Colombian Pain Institute, where Sepulveda was to die, ruled that her condition had improved from July to October and that it could no longer take place, according to the Laboratory of Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights, or DESC Lab, the organization representing Sepulveda, DESC Lab said, however, Sepulveda had not been treated at the Pain Institute for months, but according to them she is better. Sepulveda's son, Federico Redondo Sepulveda, 22, said his mother felt she was back to her previous state of desperation and sadness, and there's nothing that can change th. The case has garnered international attention, raising questions around how expensive euthanasia laws should be. Colombia first decriminalized euthanasia in 1997, and in July, a Colombian court ruled to expand the right to include not only patients with immediate terminal prognoses but also those with intense physical or mental suffering, from bodily injury or serious and incurable illness. Sepulveda, a devo. I believe in a god who doesn't want to see me like this, she told the TV station. ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease in the United States, has no cure and is always fatal. According to the ALS Association, the average survival time is three years, though a small share of people diagnosed with the disease can live longer. ALS is a degenerative disease in which a person's nervous system no longer allows for control of their muscles. People with ALS can over time lose the ability to walk, eat and breathe. Noticias Caracol reported Sepulveda slowly lost the ability to walk over the past three years of living with ALS. She told the news station she was at peace and calm about her decision to die. The interview drew widespread attention to Sepulveda's case, and Noticias Caracol reported the Colombian Pain Institute cited it when ruling that Sepulveda's condition had improved. Colombia is a majority Catholic nation and church teaching opposes both assisted suicide and euthanasia.